Jello Beats, holla at me. What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Spike games on Brawl Ball Triple Dribble. So we're going to be getting pretty in-depth on Spike, and I'm going to be showing some gameplay, just talking over about what I do with Spike. Now, I am a decent Spike, I'm a good Spike, but I do not think I'm the best Spike. If you want to see a crazy in-depth tutorial on how to play Spike, I'm going to link OG's channel down in the description. He has some great videos. He has... Only four, but anyways, they're really good. His spike one actually even helped me out a lot after playing this game for a year and a half. So I'm sure it's going to help out a lot of you. So anyways, go check it out if you want to learn a lot on spike. But with that being said, let's get into the video and here we go. So here we go, guys. Getting into the first game. So I actually haven't been playing much spike. I think spike is way too overpowered. And to be honest, it's... I don't want to say it like this, but it's just too easy. I don't have a lot of fun playing spike. I think he's way too good of a brawler, so I don't really push him that often. I think he's just, he's just too simple, way too easy. I don't know what Jigsaw is doing right there, it was like a free goal. Solid waste of a spike super there, but anyways, yeah, that's why I don't really push spike. I have all my brawlers 700, and then like a, um, like not even a 600 spike yet. I don't really enjoy him that much because it's so easy, but let me show you how I play spike. I'm not going to get too, too in depth here just because it's, I'm commentating while making gameplay, but if you guys want to see a lot about Spike, I definitely head over to OG's channel. If you guys want to check it out, he made an awesome video regarding the Spike RNGs and how to predict, how to hit someone with it, how to juke them, and I think it's really useful. It definitely helped me on my Spike gameplay, so if you guys want to improve on Spike, I would definitely check out that video. It's actually very helpful. So anyways, let's get into it. We're about a minute into the game now, and we are up one to nothing. Brawl Ball is definitely my favorite mode to play with Spike, just because I enjoy the open maps for the most part. Triple Dribble being one of the more closed maps is still amazing for Spike. We go here and end the first game, and let's get into some more gameplay, and we'll talk a little bit more about Spike into the second game. So here we go into the second game. We're facing three really good Brawl Ball players, so this is definitely going to be a tough one. But anyways... Just hitting the RNGs with Spike. We're definitely going to want to target the Primo just because, you know, Spike is a tank destroyer. He does a lot of DPS, so we do want to focus that. Definitely don't want to, tr at least don't want to try and let this Primo heal up over here. We're going to try and constantly be annoying it. Constantly hitting it. I don't think I'm going to have to super. It looks like my teammates are going to be able to just walk it in. Nice pleasure for a goal. Up 1-0 right there. We, as you see, we've targeted the Primo and it worked out very well. And anyway, so here we go. Good super. Right there by Lester Mode. Joker Joe's gonna use his bear. We're gonna super him in and the bear. It didn't do much to Joker, but we got some good value. It looks like we're gonna score straight away, and that's actually two insanely quick games. And let's head into the third. So here we go into the third game. We're actually gonna be facing three brawlers at Spike. Uh, at Spike counters. Primo doesn't counter as much, but if you play Spike right, it's definitely a counter. I mean, Mortis, it doesn't counter that much, but if you play it right, it definitely does counter. Just gonna go over here. Jigsaw with a nice deal on Gorks, so we're gonna be able to finish him up. Jigsaw does have a super, which is a great way to score in Brawl with a Primo jump. He's gonna use it, we're gonna recharge our super, and that's gonna be a quick one to nothing lead. So here we go, second half. So it looks like the Primo is gonna try and kind of run away. It doesn't really want much to do with us. We're gonna super around where the ball is. So we're gonna go over here. Gonna continue just melting through their team. We're gonna walk up and see if we can get a goal. He's gonna go right and we're gonna finesse it to the left and that is three insane quick games. Let's get into the fourth over here. This has been awesome. So here we go against a really tough team actually. So this one's definitely going to be a challenge. Some of my friends, very good players within the game. So we're going to go out and hit a few spike RNGs. Alec is going to hit a few couple, a couple of Rico shots. We're going to hit him and he's going to be backed up. We're going to focus OG a little bit because that's who we counter. We're going to be able to get him in that spike super and let him die. We're going to start shooting Alec over here. Alec's trying to hit a trick shot clearly. He didn't have an angle, so he is going to go down. We do have OG right over here. 
to try and hit a few shots. OG with a good super there. Not much that we could have done, so I'm just going to back up over here. Almost went down. Going to back up. Just wanted to slow down their push a little bit. That's why I use that super. Anyways, Jigsaw is going straight for the shell. He definitely would not advise that if you were a primo. We're going to try and help Jigsaw out a little bit since he's basically defenseless in this scenario. Try and hit the RNGs on OG, but OG does know how to dodge them. Try to keep tapping. This is definitely a very hard game for our team comp. Good shots there. We're gonna go for that RNG. Was not able to hit it. Just gonna get OG trapped in there. We are gonna get the kill and go down, but that is a good trade because we were also able to take out the turret. Now Jigsaw's been basically useless for the duration of this game. He's been basically just walking around, feeding super. Again, we're just gonna try and chip. Just gonna put that spike super over there. Sorry if I'm not commentating at my best ability. It's just a very intense game, so I am. Kind of trying as hard as I can. It looks like we are going to be able to get OG. We are. Alec has been a pretty pesky Rico throughout this game. He's been pretty good. Oh, oh, how is that not in the net? Oh my god, great play right there by Alec to save the goal. Jigsaw was way too patient. I don't really know what he was doing, to be honest. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to try and keep OG back. Getting some spike RNGs over there. Looks like OG might have been able to actually get the super shot. GG to them. So here we go into the fourth game here. We actually just played one and my Wi-Fi cut, so that one is definitely a little bit disappointing. But anyways, here we go. Here we go hit the Jesse with the two RNGs over there. We're gonna be able to, again, the RNGs are super crucial. If you haven't, check out OG's video because it will help you out a lot. Anyways, we're gonna be very very careful over here because we don't want to charge anything we have very similar comps yeah actually might yeah we do have mirror comps actually so we don't really want to charge the other super no one's really gonna have such an advantage over the other person that's not gonna do much to us it's gonna be a waste of super over there definitely want to take this out so we're gonna get rid of a bit of our health in order to take out that turret I'm just gonna start hitting rye guy Gonna move up over here in our spike super. Missed both shots there, but we were able to hit that. Walk up and give a thick carry for the first goal of the game right there. So here we go in our next game. Gonna start just kind of spraying. Sometimes I do, I just shoot and I actually aim my RNGs, but other times I just kind of spray my shots while I'm kind of fading away so I can try and gain my super. Anyway, so there's our super. We're just gonna hit the safe and try and get some extra value. Because there were people nearby, we hit his RNG over there, was able to take out the Jesse. Just gonna annoy Shock over there. So as you can see, we took out two people and the Jesse turret, so we are definitely doing a lot with Spike right now. Good super by Brayden. We're gonna continue to try and hit RNGs. Bit of hiding. Gonna be able to hit one right there. Gonna try and get out of the way. That was a good super by Rai guy. Very tough when you're facing a Rico and you shouldn't be going in there. I thought he was dead, so I definitely shouldn't have gone there. Anyways, this has been kind of a slow paced game, but good since a lot of them have been longer. We're gonna put a spike super over there. We're gonna get two of them maybe. I think we got one, but we got the Jesse very low. We're gonna super over there, and even if you don't hit, you force them a direction. Shock was forced to the left. 
Shock's gonna super mean, think he can hit me. Oh, I can hit auto in by accident. Herb. But anyways, that is not gonna be enough time for them to score, and that will be game right over there. So here we go into our fifth and final game. We're gonna be facing a Frank. Now Frank is really good. Jigsaw is for some reason a Barley. Don't ask me why. Anyways, we're gonna definitely be aiming for this Frank just because that is what we counter. Looks like we have strong advantage on the right side, so we're just gonna move up right. Don't know why Jigsaw had to get next to me. Just gonna charge the Jesse Super. But anyways, that is the first goal real quick. So again, we're gonna follow this Frank. We're gonna charge it. Don't want to get too in range just because a Frank does kill us in two shots. We are standing in our super, so we are protected right now. Our teammates are both down. We are going to be able to get that kill. Did waste the super over there, but we did get the objective, which was to save the goal. Jigsaw is going to be hit by super. We did go too close, unfortunately. I don't think that's going to lead to too much. If I was there, Frank, I definitely would have been more aggressive, having my super and walls to hide behind. But he did not, and that is that. We wasted our super over there. Looks like he's going to go for us again. They have been definitely targeting me throughout this game. So it's one-to-one -one over here. See what we can do. Good super over there by the Rico. Oh, wow. I got hit by two things at once. That was unreal. Anyways, that might be game actually. Oh my god, it is. Anyways, wow, that was a good game. So that's the end of the fifth game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about Spike throughout my throughout my games. If you want to really, really, really get in depth on Spike, again, final time, check out OG's video. I'm gonna put his link in the in the description below. And yeah, that's it. So, anyways, peace out. See you guys tomorrow. Love you.